The USMLE SEP exams can be very challenging to prepare for. Most people aspire to get the coveted 250s, 260s, or even 270s, thinking that these scores are a necessity to match. And without that score of a 260, they should just abandon their chances of matching into residency or the program of their choice. But I'm going to show you that this is not true for international medical graduates, USMD students, or USDO students as well. USMLE step scores are not the most important factor for matching, but just one of the factors that program directors consider when choosing applicants. So the data shows that program directors value other components of your application, such as letters of recommendations and interpersonal skills more than the USMLE scores when ranking applicants. However, to get an interview, USMLE scores are ranked in the top three factors. So let's use the data provided by the NRMP to guide what scores applicants need to increase their chances of getting an interview and ultimately matching. Now let's take a closer look at the average USMLE scores. When it comes to the average USMLE scores, there isn't a one-size-fits-all approach because there are two main factors that determine the average USMLE scores. The first one is the type of applicant. So the average USMLE scores are different if an applicant is an international medical graduate, a USMD student, or a USDO student. Another major factor is the specialty. So as you can imagine, the more competitive the specialty, the higher the USMLE average scores will be. So the average USMLE scores for specialties like dermatology or plastic surgery would be higher than average USMLE SEP scores for other specialties like pediatrics or internal medicine. But let's take a closer look at the average USMLE scores across all specialties. But let's just differentiate them by the type of applicant. So IMGs, USMDs, and USDO students. But I also differentiated IMGs into US IMGs and non-US IMGs because the scores or the average scores are different for these two groups or two different types of IMGs. So let's zoom in on the average USMLE Step 1 scores. For USMD students, the score is 234. USDO students, 228. USIMGs, 223. And for non USIMGs, 234. So, as you can see, the average USMLE step scores for different types of applicants are different for the USMLE step 1. Now let's take a closer look at the average scores for the USMLE Step 2 CK. For USMD students, 247. USDO students, 240. USIMGs, 234. And non-USIMGs, 240. So as you can see here, the average USMLE Step scores do vary by the type of applicant. So now that we've established that fact, now let's switch gears and look into the different specialties. But before I do, if you are enjoying this content so far, please be sure to power up the like button, hit subscribe, and that notification bell so that you never miss another video like this. Now let's get into anesthesiology. Okay, so the average USMLE Step 1 scores. So for USMD students, that is 234. USDO students, 233. USIMGs, 232. And for non-USIMGs, 236. So these are the average USMLE Step 1 scores for applicants that successfully matched into anesthesiology. Now let's take a closer look at the average USMLE Step 2 CK scores. 
for USMD students, 246, USDO students, 243, USIMGs, 239, and non-USIMGs, 242. Now let's take a closer look at the average scores for emergency medicine applicants that matched. So, for the USMLE 71 scores, USMD students had an average score of 233, USDO students 228, USIMGs 230, and non-USIMGs 231. Now let's move on to the average USMLE Step 2 CK scores. USMD students, 247. USDO students, 241. USIMGs, 240. And non-USIMGs, 242. Now let's move on to family medicine. So the average USMLE Step 1 scores for USMD students is 221. USDO students, 218. USIMGs, 211. And non-USIMGs, 219. And now for the average USMLE Step 2 CK scores. USMD students, 238. USDO students, 233. USIMGs, 226 and non-USIMGs 229. So if you are planning on applying to internal medicine, then definitely listen up to this one. So for the average USMLE Step 1 scores for USMD students, that score is 235. USDO students, 227. USIMGs, 226 and non-USIMGs 237. And next up, the average USMLE Step 2 CK scores. So for USMD students, 248. USDO students, 240. USIMGs, 235. Non-USIMGs, 243. So as you can see here, so far for these specialties, if you did not get a 260 or 250 in the USMLE Step 1 or USMLE Step 2, all hope is definitely not lost. Because this shows you the average scores for matched applicants for each specialty. But let's look at pediatrics. The average USMLE Step 1 score for USMD students is 228. USDO. 223, USIMGs, 222, and non-USIMGs, 229. And of course, the USMLE SIP 2 CK average scores for USMDs is 245, USDOs, 237, USIMGs, 234, and non-USIMGs, 237. So if you have not done any of the USMLE step exams as yet, you can use these average scores for match applicants as a guide for what score you can aim for when preparing for your exams. If you have already done the USMLE step exams and your score is not within the average scores for the specialty that you'd like to apply to, like I said before, all hope is definitely, definitely not lost because there are other inciting factors that programs highly value when choosing applicants for interviews and for ranking applicants so that they can ultimately match into their program. If you want to know more about those different factors and what you can do to match into the specialty of your choice, then be sure that you are subscribed to this channel so that you do not miss that video or any other video like this. And if you found this video helpful, then please power up that like button. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!